Hey ladies and gents, welcome to episode 8 of my Barcelona Mass League. We can see here that Coutinho is denied transfer talk, but with me bringing in the young players and David, as you can see there, topping expectations, I think we could look to move on some of the older players. So I have put them up for list. So in terms of the league, we are two points behind Atletico Madrid. Real Madrid just one point behind and we are now facing Atletico Madrid at the Camp Nou. So... Only a win will do. Um, the top performing players last game were Messi and Griezmann. So as per the challenges we set earlier on the season, if you've not seen episode one, then go check that out. But that means we have to play Messi and Griezmann in this match. Where we're going to be playing a five, uh, sorry, a three-five-two formation. And the reason being is because uh, we have struggled in the past against four-four-two formations and. The 3-5-2 seemed to work really nicely. I didn't have to, you know, change it tactically too much. Um, so that's all well and good. Um, do I play two attacking midfielders? Could be quite interesting, actually. Could be could be dangerous, but I think we could get behind uh, Barreo and Saul with um, Tino and David. That could cause them a lot of problems, obviously. It does leave Busquets a little bit exposed, possibly. I'm going to bring Dembele on this left, on, in on this left wing. Reason being is I can then bring Fatih on for Messi or Griezmann. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I've got room for Fran Torres. I think I have because uh, we don't want Jordi Alba playing on the left wing. Uh, right wing, sorry. So... I think that's pretty good. I'll bring it. Come on, Vinga. No, no, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. The only concern is this midfield. Is it too attacking against yeah, Athletic Madrid? But we need goals, and um, yeah, let's uh, let's try it and see see how it goes. It's looking a bit cloudy. Camp new, and if you're new to my series, then this is on legend difficulty, so it's going to be well, it's, it's pretty challenging no matter who you play. But when you play some of the top clubs, it makes it a little bit harder. So, trying to keep the faith with the tick attacker style, Pep likes to play at Barcelona during his time at Barcelona. <laughs> this is a combative start, isn't it? Oh, come on. That was a good tackle, ref. Leng oh, no. Busquets. Busquets just taking out correct. I don't know. I thought, was, uh, I thought he got his foot around and, and won the ball. But this is dangerous. Oh. I'll watch Costa. From those set pieces, it does rise extremely well. For the big matches like this, I do tend to play 15 minutes just to really settle into the game and get to enjoy it. Oh, it's a lovely play. This my young player just getting wiped out there. There's Suarez. Former Barcelona player, obviously. A bit crazy that they let him go for free. Brian Torres, David, Messi. Messi gets it wide back to Fran Torres. Back into Messi, playing that false nine. Looking up, see what we can see. Goal! <laughs> Someone said to me in the comments the other day, you can't score outside the box with finesse on advanced shooting. And I think this is my first attempt. I think he said, yeah, look, just it is just outside the box, admittedly. But <laughs> what a goal. 
Little layoff from Griezmann. And look at this from David. This guy is taking... Taking the... Uh, well, taking Tele Liga by storm. Really impressed with him so far. What a signing. Right. See what Atletico Madrid have got in response to that. Look at my look at my five across my field there. Let force them to have to go long. Look at that awkward, facing the wrong way, long ball. That's perfect. So the key is not to lose the ball. Oh, this is this is flowing nicely. <laughs> He's not going to get another one. Oh, gosh. Tell you what. What a formation attack that this is turned out to be. I don't like 5 3 2 normally, um, especially against legend difficulty. So getting behind your left midfield and right midfield just too easily, and uh, then you're in trouble. So you do have to make sure that they drop back, even if you have to manually bring them back. But you can see there, look at that across the midfield right now. Flat five is forcing them to go along all the time. That is wonderful from Coutinho. Oh, it's a beautiful ball. Oh, beautiful. Griezmann. Oh, <laughs> yes. 2-0, 17 minutes in. Why we have to play this formation and tactic more often, especially against 4 4 2. It's really causing them a lot of problems. They just can't play out. Whereas against the 4 3 3, it's too easy to cut through your. cut through in the field sometimes. But with the five being so flat defensively, even with two attacking midfielders, oh, it's got right through the legs. Of the goalkeeper. Got lucky there, to be honest. I thought the touch was a little bit heavy. Right at the end, but let's just squeeze it in. Again, another long ball. Look, if that's if that's them, if that's all they can do against this formation now. And this should be relatively comfortable. But this is the only thing. You don't want to get caught in possession when your players are forward. Get caught, you're, uh, you're in trouble. It's messy. Like this. Oh, they give it away. Oh, it's fell nicely to Griezmann. No back heel. David. Goes wide. Drops it back. Dembele. Coutinho. Ah, oh, too soft. It was way too soft. And ballet. Continue. Messi. Oh, let's it run. Oh, this is sublime. Oh, my goodness. Oh. This is absolutely silk right now. This is the first time they've actually been able to work it without playing the long ball. This is so dangerous. As soon as, like I said, about the crossing, you get into the likes of Costa, it's going to be a uh, good night uh, out, Suarez. Hopefully, had enough players around him to take the ball off him. That's a wonderful ball. What a ball! Oh, Ferran Torres couldn't, couldn't quite get on the end of that. Good header. Oh, that's a loose pass. 
Messi, Griezmann. Ah, oh, he's fouled me. It's a good chance to uh, counter attack there. Counter, yeah, counter pressing. Here's David. Oh, double touch into Ferran Torres. Looking for the return ball to David. Oh, let's get the overhead kick then. Would have been worth it. Worth a try. And good block there by PK. Saw the, saw the run of Suarez. Just try to get, or do my best to get in line with the path. Ah, thought he was going to play the ball. Dropping a little bit deep, might see They might be pushing back by playing a little bit more an attacking formation. Or attacking strategy, should I say. They might have changed things up. You can see my team's been pushed back a bit, which is allowing them to create, but Messi picks up the ball. White dyke. Drew him in and just was going to skip past him, but that's just blatant. And dash and hold. Just going to try and think this to the, to the far post. Oh, that's a little bit too close to the goalkeeper. Fired well wide by Coutinho. Yeah, I see the shape's gone. It's not as flat as it was earlier on. And that's because they're pushing players forward. Different mentality. I might have to change my um, attack defense strategy mentality in a minute because they are getting. More chances. They're breaking. They're breaking the lines a little bit better than they were earlier on. Good header. It's for Torres. Continue. Griezmann and Ballet. Oh, lovely. Oh, Ferran Torres! That was absolutely beautiful. That was stunning. Look at this. Oh, intricate football on the edge of the penalty area and then fired into the far corner. What a goal. Nice build up as well. Nice. Three. Let's see if we can make it. Four. Let's try and get some more. I think they're ahead of me on goal difference, so, you know, trying to bolster the goal difference now would be, would be good, but here's Costa. It's not overly over cocky. Oh. I was just waiting for the, the neck to bulge because as soon as they cross it, it's just ridiculous at this level for clinical finishing. But 3 0. I said the, the 3 5 2 would do it, and it's absolutely paying dividends. Starting to work out the, the formations which counter certain formations. Obviously, there's more depth to it than that because obviously there's the underlying tactics as well. So, he's done bad eight. Not, not much support there, so I'll lay back to continue, but he's, in, he's already under pressure. I <laughs> done me with that little little twist that allowed him to play it into that pocket of space. Here's Suarez, Costa, Bong, Bong, <laughs> Bosch. <laughs> oh man, gutted. 
They worked it nicely, to be fair. And it's still been just too much for him to pick out that far corner. It's David. Messi. Busquets, <laughs> little layoff. No, I'm the same wave wavelength that. That ball's a bit ambitious for Suarez. He's down by. He's trying for just to draw some players out and. Creates pockets of spaces in the, behind their midfield line. Messi, David, and Torres. David, Griezmann, David, Coutinho, David. Oh no, I thought I'd done it. Oh man, that was there. Uh, that would have been sublime. <laughs> Little ticket sacker out on the edge of their box. Beautiful. Messi, Griezmann's through. Can I hold him off? No, he's held me off. But I don't truly. I'm muscled. Here's Mutiti. David. Baron Torres. Oh, lovely ball. Into Griezmann. Ah, oh, just try to let off to continue. The two tag midfielders definitely help. I mean, not from a defensive point of view, <laughs> but going forward, it it really does. So depends if you're a more defensive-minded person. Their defending is usually pretty good, but we're under trap. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. 3-2. Costa with a second. As soon as he got here, I was like, okay, he's telling me. He's telling me again. And then he just... I couldn't get close enough. Nothing I could do about that. 3-2. <laughs> this game is heating up nicely. There's Coutinho. Dembele. Oh, Dembele. Unlucky. I have to make some subs in a second. Messi. Griezmann. I want to try and go for that next goal. Don't be hanging on the last few minutes or anything like that. Linglet. Nice from down belly that. Clear away. It's Coutinho. Oh, it's like between David and uh I think it was Messi as well, but sort of went to neither player. PK should be able to tidy that up. There's Busquets. Oh, what? That was lovely, that little touch. It was absolutely beautiful. Oh, Griezmann. Griezmann, what are you doing? Look at that. Look at that little touch. Just to skip past their fullback and drives it in, but Grease. Oh man, he's got to score that. Okay, 72nd minute. Let's see. 
Let's bring on Fatty for that left hand side. Hmm, do I bring do I bring in the defensive midfielder on or do I go for it? No, I think I'm gonna go for it. Can't be doing defensive. Let's bring on Braithwaite. Just that. Not. Hmm. Actually, no. No, I'm gonna. Like Braithwaite is alright, but I think I need to share it up with Panic. So now it's a 3 6 1. Similar to my ultimate formation from last year. Obviously, tactical wise, it's completely different. With Messi being a false nine, that means he's going to drop right back. Got man of the moment. One of the minute, though. And see Fatty, who's tracking for it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lucky. Diego Costa. And that's why I don't really like the the three at the back. We get back into those into those wide areas. You can't do a lot about it. If you're getting behind you. I did all my best to try and track his runs with Dancy Fatty, but once he was in. Oh no. What's happened to my defence? Well played, MTT. <laughs> Fran Torres. David. Messi. Coutinho. Chris Getz. Messi. Oh! Oh, fired in by Fatty. Oh, there's a Coutinho. Messi. This gets PK. Aaron Torres. David. Lovely ball. Back out to Fran Torres. There's the space. Look, space over there. Space there. Oh, I wanted him to drive into that space. But... Messi. Lovely play. Oh! Get yeah, ace. Foul me on the edge of the box. Messi with a great opportunity here to finish and wrap the game up. Ah, oh, I've messed it up. Messed it up. I was under where I wanted to be in the power and I just tried to tap it ever so slightly. No joy. Game is still wide open, up for grabs. Three minutes left in, then added time. Uh, this is where I think it's dangerous. Got to win that PK. Oh, I just about got there. Woo! You know if that cross comes in. <laughs> Game over. A little bit of keep ball now, I think. For the sake of the league. Uh, it's a bit dangerous going, trying to go for a winner that. Not a winner, but want to secure it. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to throw it away at the end. Ref, just blow the whistle. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that goalkeeper's going to come up. Here's Zeno. Let's try and have the put on. Oh no, Costa's got away from me. Oh, it's over the bar. <laughs> oh, we hung on. <laughs> what looked like it was going to be an easy ride turned out to be quite the opposite.
We played some scintillating football. Really nice football throughout that match. 55% possession. 194 passes completed. 222. Very nice. Accuracy there on the passes. Griezmann, man of the match. And there's no players need to drop in for the next match. It's going to be Griezmann, Coutinho, David, Torres. All have to feature. It's going to be interesting because that means I've got to play two attacking midfielders in my next game. Let's see how Real Madrid got on. They beat Valladolid 3 1. Cool. Well, we're level on goal difference now with Athletic Madrid, but we're a point ahead. They had level on points with Real Madrid. Oh. Which is weird because Real Madrid have a far superior goal difference, but it must go on head to head then, I guess. So there we are, ladies and gents. That brings us to the end of episode eight. Thank you all for joining me. And uh, yeah, wow. Top of the league at the minute. But, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next episode. Where we take on Hetafe for the next match. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.